Well, Pope Francis praises the work of an Italian Catholic organization that is providing health care in Africa. Meeting the members of the association late last week, the Holy Father urged them to continue giving a voice to those in Africa. Established in 1950, the organization includes almost 3,000 members and nearly two dozen hospitals in Africa alone. Joining us now from Italy is Andrea Azzori, head of international relations at Kuam Doctors with Africa. Andrea, great to be with you today. Uh, can you tell us more about the audience with the Pope and what he said to you in his speech? Oh, hi, hi, everybody. Thanks for having me. Yes, the audience was an incredible moment for us, and uh, we love the fact that Pope Francis put at the center the African continent. He said clearly that the African continent should be no exploited but we should invest, and especially invest in the human capital, in the young people that every day are seeking opportunity to improve their lives, improving for developing and, and make grow their community and find also new solution for the big challenges the continent is facing at the moment. So I think it was a privilege to have Pope Francis say that Doctors with Africa Quam contribute to this uh, young movement in Africa, is contributing to saving life for women and children that are in danger or because of epidemics or because of the current situation on the nutrition and food insecurity. But at the end of the day, really focusing on the human capital of this big continent and the great opportunity that the continent has for the future. And Andrea, for those who aren't familiar with your organization, can you tell us a little bit more about it and your work in Africa? Oh, yes. Doctors with Africa, QAM, is an international organization that focuses on the strengthening of local health facilities, local health systems that are providing essential services to the most vulnerable. We work uh, with permanent offices in Africa in eight countries. Sierra Leone, South Sudan, Central African Republic, Ethiopia, Uganda, Tanzania, Mozambique, and Angola. We always work with a partnership with local government, communities, FPOs, and civil society. And we try to, together, find solutions to the challenges these communities are facing. Challenges like the difficulty in assessing health care, especially for women and children. Difficulties in finding quality health care or to find appropriate training and, and training on the job of health professionals in Africa. We've been doing this since 1950. We've been funding 1950. It's more than 70 years. And in that day, with Pope Francis, we also launched a new project that will include more countries, more FBO, reaching up to 20 African countries in this uh, huge continent of Africa. I'm curious, what are currently the biggest health issues um, in Africa? And also, how did the pandemic affect the populations? Well, we face many challenges. The first of all, there's been a shift in the epidemiology of the continent. So we're still facing diseases like HIV, malaria, tuberculosis, and malnutrition. Yet at the same time, we have issues like chronic disease, like diabetes and hypertension, because the population is growing, the population is getting uh, older, and also there is a problem with the diet and the lifestyle of many, especially the cities in Africa. So there is this problem of a double burden of disease in the continent. And also we are coming out of two years of pandemic. We heard also on Saturday when we uh, send a speech to Pope Francis and the audience where uh, the mortality for COVID-19 maybe has not been as high as in the U.S. on the Europe, but has left many, many gaps in the services. What I mean is that vaccination campaign has been suspended, so we are now seeing measles coming back in Africa. Uh, most of the market, the local market, has been stopped for a while, and we are seeing a raise in prices in food commodities and in anything that is related to the local production of food. So they, they, we're coming out of two years of pandemic with some issues that have been uh, definitely getting worse in terms of the condition of the community. And then we had the war in Ukraine. It is also creating another problem, especially with inflation and the raising of, of staple and, and, and food prices in Africa. Well, Andrea, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. It was a pleasure.